27 years, 18 of those years, I was in Grantstown, South Africa, uh, and then the rest of the time I've been here. Uh, I am the librarian here. I lead retreats, and uh, I'm a poet. And then I also do various things from emptying trash to shoveling compost. profession, I was sent by the order with two other brothers to South Africa upon the invitation of Desmond Tutu, the Archbishop of Cape Town. We were uh, to be a model of community life uh, for South Africa after apartheid and also to serve the poor. And we were surrounded by the poor, they were right next door and to help them with education and health care. Eventually, we opened a school. Uh, we had a lot of involvement with the children. They were a great influence on us, and we were a great influence on them. We developed a really good friendship uh, with the children, and they learned to trust us. And of course, we had to learn to trust them as well. And it was wonderful to see them grow and flourish. Uh, the similarity between the two are the rhythm of prayer, of work, of study. The difference is, is the work. It was pretty intense in South Africa. The environment of South Africa uh, certainly influenced the monastery there. The monastery was in a rural area, and uh, we were surrounded by farms and farm laborers. So we had to learn a lot uh, about adapting. Uh, to the culture there. Well, I've become a lot more honest and honest with my brothers, honest with myself, and honest with God. And I never felt before that that kind of honesty was acceptable outside of the monastery. And here it is acceptable. And I'm accepted and even loved. And it takes a lot of humility, to be honest, but that humility is a gift and the love of my brothers is a real gift. And I see poetry as very much uh, an important part of my life, uh, especially my life as a monk. I look at, I read poetry as part of my study. Uh, and I also see writing poetry as very much to make me a more whole human being. I think it's a form of prayer for me. 
I also use it when I lead retreats, I lead poetry workshops, and I see getting my poetry out there and getting published is actually a ministry. I just recently led a retreat on the faith and doubt of poets, so I like to present uh, poets honestly, and uh, I often find that the doubt of poets uh, can challenge us in our faith and actually help us to be more faithful people. I use it as a vehicle to help people explore beauty, uh, to help people explore their own faith. community life and uh, I love living in community. I really love this community a great deal, the daily rhythm of prayer, but I, I think that's also connected with community because when we pray as a community and uh, do the offices well, uh, that's another sign that the community is really uh, working and functioning together. We do a community social once a week and um, I really do enjoy that. I like the conversation, I like the company, and it's a great time for us to uh, relax with each other and to show our companionship and, um, and another expression of our love for each other that's very natural and very human. Well, I think you'll find that we have the experience of being where you may be right now. We can uh, bring, hopefully bring some clarity to you, bring some hope to you and um, help you to uh, to be brave. Mm -hmm.